so I uh, went shopping uh, <laughs> the other day, and uh, I came across probably one of the dumbest things I've ever seen, uh, grocery shopping, and I had to buy it. I, uh, <laughs> I saw these, and uh, I was on my knees just kind of looking at them and, and laughing because it's just <laughs> how, how stupid it is. And I'm pretty sure the other person in the aisle thought I was I was crazy. But uh, yeah, so today I'm going to be reviewing Cheetos Mac and Cheese, Bold and Cheesy, and Cheetos Mac and Cheese, Flamin' Hot. <laughs> it's so stupid. I never expected Cheetos to break into the Mac and Cheese game. Uh, I thought Kraft kind of had a, a monopoly on it, or you know, at the very least they'd collab with Kraft. And uh, that, that doesn't seem to be the case here. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be reviewing both of these. There's a third one. It's uh, Cheetos, like spicy jalapeno. Um, the thing is, is like, you know, normal mac and cheese, it's really easy to have this go head-to-head with, with Kraft. Uh, and then the Flamin' Hot, I actually usually have my Kraft mac and cheese with some hot sauce and a little bit of black bean burger. And, of course, extra cheese, you know, pepper, spicing it up. Uh, but, uh, so I feel like both of these are going to have a good time going, you know, straight head to head with, once again, the, the craft monopoly on cheap mac and cheese. Uh, so, and as kind of a heads up, I'm going to be doing the recipe pretty much to the T. The only thing I'm not going to be doing on here is I'm actually going to rinse them. It says don't rinse, rinse the pasta. Whenever I don't rinse pasta out of a box, it, it tastes gross. It tastes like dirty noodle water. Uh, I, I ain't about that. <laughs> so, um, otherwise, it's like two teaspoons of butter, fourth cup of milk. Gonna be doing all that, and I'm not gonna be adding anything else. No black pepper, uh, no salt, uh, none of that stuff. So, uh, yeah, here we go. <sighs> all right, well, uh, here we go. We have both. <laughs> it doesn't look good. I'm going to say based on looks, uh, Kraft is, is killing the game, I think. Uh, so literally, the original, which is what I'm going to try first here, it just looks like they were like cheese powder and then like threw in some dyes. Like I get Kraft, I probably has some dyes in it too. But uh, it's like two orange. It's like you know what we're gonna we're just double down. Uh, Chester cheetah orange. Let's go. So all right. Well, here we go once again. Uh, nothing added to it. Sadly, I'm actually really hungry. May that be known too. It may or may not be a factor here. Um, smell wise, it smells cheesy. Also, does smell like Cheetos. I am. Uh, I guess somewhat happy to say, but uh, here we go. It's not good, like at all. The noodles are bad. Noodles are not good, even after rinsing them. Gross. The cheese is okay. Like, it's just okay. Like, there's not a whole lot of flavor, to be honest. Um, yeah. It doesn't even like really taste like Cheetos. Like I feel like this failed on every level it could. That's disgusting. Alright. So I would just say get original craft. I know they have a monopoly. Just spicing it up, make it taste a little bit better. I would not buy the Cheetos. Like that is gross. Um I think even if you Threw some actual Cheeto dust in there or like crunched up Cheetos. I, I don't think it would, it would be good. I don't.
is, is gross. So, next up, Flamin' Hot. I am even more concerned <laughs> to eat this. It smells spicy. It smells like spicy ramen. It actually does not even smell like Cheetos. Or like Cheeto mac and cheese. Or mac and cheese in general. It just smells like spicy ramen. So, I guess if that's the flavor, that's okay. But look how just blood red these things are. Like... Alright, here we go. Huh. So, it is spicy. I'm not like super, um, like, I like spicy food. It doesn't bother me. I'm not like super sensitive to spicy food at all, but it, there is some spice in there, so that's good. Uh, still not good. Noodles still suck. Cheetos, you gotta work on your noodle game here. It is slightly better because there's the spiciness masks the grossness. Like, I would never go out of my way to buy this ever, but I mean, it's edible. Dang. Oh, yeah. So, that's all I'm gonna eat. That's, oh. If I had to rate them, I think, I think the original mac and cheese gets like a, a straight one star out of five. It was not good. I'd say one star out of 10 too. Like, I will never buy it. <laughs> it's really gross. The Flamin' Hot, which I, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of surprised. Like, I feel like normal mac and cheese, right? I feel like it's kind of hard to screw up. Like, it tried and true, like, the off brands, you know, even don't have a hard time making halfway decent mac and cheese, you know, out of the box. Um, I think a microwavable mac and cheese is better than this. It, that's, and that's what that reminded me of. Not good. And th I think there actually are instructions to just make this in the microwave. May that be known? That, that could be a pro for some of you out there. I just, I don't know, mac and cheese needs to be made on a stove. That's, that's how it is. Flamin' Hot. At a five, I'd give it a two. Two stars. Um, spiciness makes up for it. I like spicy food, so that gets that one star from spiciness. And it's actually spicy, too. Um, yeah. Still gross. Um, do not recommend. I do not recommend Cheetos. I think Cheetos should keep on doing what they're doing and make half- Decent slash half crappy cheese puffs. Cheetos aren't bad. Don't get me wrong. Um, but they should just stick to making that. They should not expand. I uh, there's another Cheeto line of like taco meat or Cheeto sushi or burger or I don't know yogurt something stupid like that. I, I will not pick it up. It's gross. They've that they've. They've proven to me that they cannot go past Cheetos. And, and I'll be honest, too. Like, there is, like, the worst part of Cheetos, like, the worst flavor profile of Cheetos is in this. Like, the, the worst part of, of Cheetos is in this. It might be too early to tell, but Cheetos might be ruined for me after trying these mac and cheese. It is gross. So, yeah. That's, that's it. Do not buy I cannot recommend it. Don't do it. Just, just don't.
If you enjoyed the video, you learned something, you learned to stay away from this garbage mac and cheese, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell and uh, down in the comments, let me know, are you happy I did this for you? Are, are, are you happy you dodged the bullet or are you going to actually go out and try it yourself? Do you, are you like some weirdo that actually like likes it? <laughs> Let me know. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Eat something tasty and good, not this crap. And uh, do something good for yourself as well. Thank you once again for watching. <laughs> Take care.